Elementary listeners, we are Chinese Pod. I'm Jenny. I'm John. So this is the third in our trilogy of tone change rules, right? Hmm. And that's why the tone master John is here. Ah, <laughs>、uh, whatever. And unfortunately, we're not a trio today.、Uh, Ken's not here. Hmm. But um, that's okay. We have a lot to cover. And like John said, actually, we've done a series of podcasts on tone rule. That's right. So this time is the third and final one. Today we're talking about tone changes for the word e. E, E. So that means one. Um.、Mm. And it's first tone. 对 E. Now, John, what kind of changes are we going to look at today? Well, this one's a little more complex because it has some conditions. Sometimes it does this, and sometimes it does that.、Mm. But do not fear. Yeah, don't worry. You can totally master them. Um, you just need to know what the rules are. Um.、Mm, yes. Okay, so we're gonna tackle this by going into three main situations. Um.、Mm. So the first situation is when the e is by itself. Yes. So this might happen when you're counting.、Um, I don't know when you're just saying one for some reason, right? E, e. All right. So like we said, it doesn't change in that case when it's alone, when it's independent.、Yes. It's first tone. E. All right. That's easy. Now we're going to do two different combinations. The first one is when first tone is followed by a fourth tone. Oh. So when e meets a fourth tone, right, and it comes after e. Hmm. Okay. Now let's listen to a few examples and see if you can figure out what's happening, and then we'll explain it. Sure. 一下，一下，一下，一万，一万，一万，一次，一次，一次。All right. Now, if you weren't able to figure out what happened, don't worry. That's normal.、Mm. Uh, tones are tricky. What's happening here is the first tone is changing to a second tone. Yes. So instead of e, here we have e, e 下，一下 So e 下 is like briefly for a second.、Mm. Okay. Now let's do the next example. 一万，一万 Okay. That means ten thousand. Yes. So you don't say 一万 Nope. You say 一万，一万 Okay, and then the last one. 一次，一次 So this means one time. Yes. You don't say 一次 you say 一次，一次 All right. So that is the first condition, which is when e is followed by a fourth tone. That's right. So now the second condition.、Mm. Um, this is actually pretty simple because. It's all the other tones. Oh, so excluding the fourth tone. Right. So you can have e with a first tone or a second, third tone. Right. It does the same thing in all three cases.、Mm. So if it's fourth, do what we just told you. If it's not fourth, then do this.、Uh. Now let's listen and see if you can tell what's going on. Welcome back to another installment of Chinese Pod Trivia. And the question for you is: For what test does Chinese Pod offer preparation services for? Is it A. the polygraph, B. the colonoscopy, C. the HSK test, or D. the CAT scan? Uh, the CAT scan? Ooh, sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C. the HSK test. That's right. Chinese Pod will thoroughly prepare you to pass this rigorous test of proficiency in Chinese. ChinesePod.com/hsk. 一千，一千，一千，一年，一年，一年，一百，一百，一百，一起，一起，一起。All right. Again, it's not easy to figure out what tone that is, what exactly is happening. So let's tell you, it's. The first tone becoming a fourth tone. Hmm. So instead of 一千 we have 一千一千 Okay, and that means one thousand. Yes. All right, and instead of 一年 what do we have? 一年一年 All right, that means one year. And for one hundred, this 百 is third tone. We have 一百一百
All right, and one more third tone. 一起一起一起 And that means together, right? Yes. Okay, so those are the two main cases. Hmm. So e plus a fourth tone. Hmm. E becomes the second tone. 一下一万一次 All right, and then e plus any other tone. E becomes the fourth tone. So 一千一年一百一起 All right, and that is the tone rule for e. Hmm. However, there is an exception. Yeah, there's one kind of weird exception, and、um, you're gonna run into it fairly early on in your studies. So we really need to cover it here. Which is when we have the e,、mm, meaning me. the first. Yep, the e. So that's fourth tone, right? The、yeah. e. Yes. So we often have this as a prefix,、mm. right? So if you're studying Chinese, the textbook, you open it up, and the very first lesson you're gonna see. 第一课，第一课。All right. Now, in this case, we have a fourth tone following e, right? Yes. And you just learned when a fourth tone follows e, then e becomes a second tone. 一课 Okay. So because we have the e,、yeah. the tone does not change. So lesson one is still 第一课 Right. Not 第一课 Right. So you group that e with 第一 Uh, let's give another example of the first time. 第一次第一次 Okay, so just this D E is an exception.、Mm. You don't need to worry about it too much.、Uh, but John, I want to ask you: in all the cases we looked at today, the tone changes because E is at the beginning of the word. Right. But with D E K, E is in the middle. Right. Both Chinese, where does a word begin and where does it end, is often kind of fuzzy. Oh. So you can't always depend on knowing exactly what the word unit is. Okay. So it's good to just have a general idea of the rules and then pay attention to the way people talk, mimic them. Hmm. 好的。Now after these podcasts on tone rules and tone changes, why is there a change in tone? Jenny, you're the native speaker. Maybe you should tell me. Now, of course, you don't know. <laughs> I don't. Well, as native speakers, we don't analyze these as much. Right. It comes naturally, and that's the key. It comes naturally.、Mm. Uh, native speakers they make these changes to the way they talk because the language flows more easily that way. Yeah, and maybe the language or the way people speak has evolved. It's the result of thousands of years of evolution. And right, that's the thing. When people talk, they don't consciously follow these rules.、Mm. They evolve naturally because they make sense、mm. in usage. Yes. Okay. One other thing I really want to point out here, which is this tone change rule for e, you will not see it written in the pinyin. Mm. So when you see 一下 you'll still see the e written as first, first tone. First tone. But you still have to pronounce it as second tone, fourth tone. Yes. So tone changes are not indicated in the written pinyin, and that's the official rule. Yeah, it's not because we're lazy; we don't feel like writing them in. That's the rule for how to write pinyin as dictated by the developers of the whole system. Hmm. And we hope you've enjoyed this series on tone rule. And for a complete overview, you can go to the pronunciation section on ChinesePod.com. That's right. And、I'd、also, like to point out for just a quick overview of these rules, you can listen to the dialogue only file. Yes. And hear each case and Jenny's perfect pronunciation. Oh, thank you, John. All right. So that's all for today. If you have questions, please come to ChinesePod.com. Well, I'm expecting a lot of questions with this lesson. Yeah, this is the most complex one, but、uh, that's okay. It's the last one. Thank you, Tone Master John. 谢谢 Ah, no problem. Okay, that's the end for today's lesson. We will see you on the site. 再见再见 As usual, Chinese Pod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number one two four eight. So just go to www.chinesepod.com/slash one two four eight, and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again: www.chinesepod.com/slash one two four eight.